frame. The change of Harrow. Last episode, we left on the question of what did uh, I still I still suck at names so bad. I ended the recording about two minutes ago. But yeah, what did that lost Steno turn into without Margulis? So, I think, yeah, at this point, those shadows of those moving things, yeah, they can kind of spook me. But I think that, I mean, he needed to find a way to deal with his powers. So, I don't know, he maybe came to understand them, control them, like we did uh, in the War Within, but on his own, in the void, constantly bombarded by enemies, so... He probably knows a lot about combat, but probably can't work together with other people and is very untrusting of other people. Wouldn't really uh, explain how the red veil is involved. Because I definitely think that I'm right with the idea that. Well, I feel that my idea is right that he did uh, just manage to get used to his powers uh, on his own. And that he probably actually would become quite uh, proficient in proficient in it, and that he is probably very uh, battle hardened. But how does that relate to the Red Veil? I mean, I would have to guess uh, misguided. Uh, Leave your vessel at the door, secret child. Come. Served Rel my whole life. Rel, that was Studying it. Rel's teachings of the void, the dire consequence of traveling by and through it. Now I see that it is true. He alone, in his harrowing sacrifice, has guarded us. What a price he has paid. Guarded against what? Righteous Rel, outcast of sacred void, hear my voice. Speak. You have been driven from the vessel by your suffering. You have swallowed the poison star so we would not. Holy Rel, speak. The Tello who rejected you have come to your aid. You have been driven from your vessel, so he lost his uh, warframe. It's working. Try again. This one? Okay. So, what emotion does this look like? I mean, to me, it doesn't at all look angry. To me, it looks displeased or. Well, I think sad is the best description of it. It looked like... Did that really have to happen or... That really had to happen and I'm really sad about it. So yeah, I'm going with sad. To me, that's the only emotion that really fits this face. Very good. And this one? Oh, this is somebody uh, who's very bad at um, very bad at social interactions. 
trying to learn what facial expressions mean. Good, Ralph. And how about this one? Mama. Yes, Ralph. Mama. Go ahead, Ralph. Uh, nervous? We're in a ship. Yes? Impossible speed. Beyond the Brankle Gap constant. Uh, I think so. You're better with that stuff, but it's amazing, isn't it? Um, yeah, confused. So why don't they fix me? Well, you know why. Mm -hmm. No, why? And how is he broken? Is it... I mean, it doesn't quite sound like uh, Tenno uh, yet. Is it his uh, mental thingy? Well, why? Mm, because I'm not broken. That's right. Different. So I love you even more. Yeah, I guess that's... I mean, I agree. Just being different, having some mental illness. Well, I think the idea of mental illness is already kind of... Well, in many places it is, it is hey, you're different than everybody else. Or you're different than a lot of people, but everybody's different. And just... Yeah, kind of complicated. Maybe something for another video when I... Um, have more time to really talk about that kind of stuff, but yeah. There's nothing wrong with being uh, different, not being normal. Even if that does make some things uh, more difficult. It means that you are really you. Happy. Yes, Rel. You make me so happy. This memory, his humanity still remains. Buried in these emotions he so often failed to grasp. Could they be the key to saving him from this? Tenno, I have a theory. Return to your orbiter and I'll explain. Yeah, I feel like my uh, theory is still correct. He is... He wouldn't be quite to be able to... Uh just interact normally with many people because of his uh, mental condition and so he well was left behind but maybe that was also the reason why he could deal with uh, the Tenno thingy being turned into a Tenno I mean, I'm speculating heavily, and... These disturbances, they are transference energy, split apart from a single mind. If we could capture them, send them back. Operator, Samaris may have a tool for this task. I wonder if his kinetic siphons could be repurposed to... Bobost. ...capture these manifestations. Huh. So we are going to try and use one of the, uh, what they're called. We're going to try and synthesize one of his manifestations. So we can try and find out more about them, try and find out where they come from. I mean, I guess that kind of would make sense. Holy Rel, let us bring you the peace you have earned. Guide this Tenno so you can return to the Harrowing Vessel, so that you might rest. Rel's warnings. Those dire consequences. He was talking about void exposure, wasn't he? The effect it has on human minds is well understood. But it's not. This 
isn't some kind of deep pressure bends as Margola suspected. Rel saw what it was. Truly an entity, indifferent, old as stars. Alright, you're kind of talking gibberish there. Thank you, Susie. But yeah, Rel is definitely uh, doing transference from some place. I mean, he's not bound by any location. He's not in one place or, or he can teleport. But I really feel like somehow this uh, his form of what's it called of uh, transference is just my fault. Touching is too much noise. It makes me ah. makes me angry. angry. Manifest from the game Rel played as a child. Okay. See if you can stabilize it with a kinetic siphon. Okay, that was uh, quite honestly horrifying. Blindedly, he casts him out. Really, you're going to send bloody infested on me? Oh, do I need to do it multiple times? The manifestation is fighting the siphon. See if you can get it. Tenno, you need to capture it. it. I was trying to. What? It's too strong for the siphon. Try and weaken it. What? Try and weaken it. You need to capture it. Station is fighting the siphon. See if you can damage it. Tenno, you need to capture it. So I can only hurt it as long as he is trapped. Angry. Someone takes the thing you love. Um, like my head? I'm detecting other manifestations. Defend yourself and try to trap them. Rap, tap, tap. I don't want to go back. Okay, that's um. That's basic malware. I definitely need to stay invisible because um, he is. Good God, he's teleporting like a madman. Oh boy! Happy, Mama has a stretchy smile. He's listening. He knows what you're doing. He? It makes him stronger. What? Tap, tap. 
I don't think that what I'm doing would be able to make anything stronger. Unless the thing he is is, I don't know, hatred, anger. Emotions perhaps, but... Um, Good god, they do hit hard. So that's called sadness. Bored. Waiting too much. There is nothing fun to look at. Good. You've captured the manifestations here. Now get out before Rel's disturbance catches up with you. Yeah, this is definitely not uh, somebody you want to uh, foil with. He is very powerful, but um, I think there's little control in that power. He just has to strength to do a lot of things, but not really the... He doesn't have to control to focus it on anything. Oh, capture more of his... of uh, the manifestations. But yeah, one thing that does keep reminding me is that uh, the, I don't know, the speaker or whatever it was called. That she did uh, say that he lost his vessel, so I think he lost his warframe. And as we saw in the uh, War Within, a Theno that loses their warframe becomes rather distressed I don't know if you can make Rel whole again but whatever you're doing this disturbance is growing stronger resisting you don't let it stop you bring Rel home to the temple is that where Rel is? has the veil preserved him in cryosleep as the other Tenno were on Lua? no we didn't have that option So, he clearly did something else, uh... Um... Oh. Is it really up there? I really don't get why uh, some people will, uh, don't see uh, the value in the uh, Son of Primes. Red crits have now officially turned into uh, blue crit, into uh, orange crits. One big problem I see with uh, that is that all videos are now uh, have now all become rather well outdated because people will now constantly be talking about red crits uh, when they are no longer red crits. Oh wait, they keep just... That's it. No. He's listening, but I'm so... Help me. Well, it's just you. Alone and trapped in a transference loop. Don't give in to these delusions of void exposure. There is no man in the wall. Don't say that. Oh. Here, the transference pieces. Track down these manifestations and capture them. Oh god, he keeps teleporting around so much. A transference loop, so... Then what is looping? Talking and everyone looks at you. Yeah, I understand that. Why are you helping me? You hated me. Uh, I 
think very few people actually hated you. They just couldn't really understand you. I hope that this doesn't end in uh... all the spider eggs are starting to hatch. I do hope that this doesn't end up with us uh... I don't know, as he put it, repairing him. I feel like that would be incredibly uh Just... Sad. Why did the babies eat the mother? Um, because... All right. No more to be found here. Get to extraction. Are you asking about anything specifically, or...? Are you talking about some animal uh, that where the babies eat the mother, or are you talking about uh, the tenor where the tenno, the kids, the yeah, babies in this metaphor then killed uh, their parents because they were driven mad by the powers of the void. Because, well, they, he could just be talking about uh, animals, but, um, I mean, the babies of the giant octopus uh, eat their own mother. But, um, well, I feel it's a bit more symbolic and talking about the, uh, about the Tenno. There is no evidence of any thing in the void. By my calculations, Rel has lost control of his transference. If we can gather these emotions, I hope he will be himself again. You will need kinetic siphons to trap Rel's emotions. Samaris will have some for sale in the relay. Ah, joy. Yeah, I think I'm... Uh... I think I'm kind of low at the moment, so... Let's go make a quick stop at Samaris and uh, stock up on them. Maybe uh, Samaris even has some interesting uh, things to say. I don't know if he encountered this type of thing before. I mean, it's very unlikely that he has, but... You know, you never know. That's kind of a backward sentence, isn't it? You know, you never know. That's kind of going directly against itself, isn't it? Tenno, you will make an excellent hunter. Dude, personal space. These can make you an even stronger hunter. Yes, Do because that's what I really need. Hunter. Oh shush it. What offerings will this item help you bring to the sanctuary? You are a true hunter. Where would the sanctuary be without you? You are a worthy hunter. Okay, so he had nothing of worth to say. 
hey, 100 taps, so um, that should at least uh, give me supplies for a while. Yeah, I might not be all that talkative at the moment. I'm, I'm kind of trying to think about. Well, I'm kind of trying to figure stuff out, but I'm not doing a great job of it at the moment. We're back at Earth, where this all started. I do wonder if Rel is even still alive. I mean, we don't really know if uh, Tenno age. I mean, the Tenno that we have seen haven't really, but... Well, they have apparently been in cryo sleep. I mean, we knew it was uh, sleep, we knew it was a dream after all, but apparently it was cryo sleep. How could Rel have lived this long without the long dream? In a way, he didn't. He knew his mortality would undo his purpose. So he gave up his humanity forever. He committed his soul to the undying vessel. His warframe. Yes, he commanded we chain it within the depths of the sacred temple, an eternal vigil against the indifference. And you believed him. You helped him do it. Yes, after everything you've seen. Wouldn't you? Hmm. So on one side these were definitely special people. Two shots. Two cut here of an entire group. I'm hearing a sound of. I mean, I can understand where they're coming from. I mean, Rel was of course definitely something special. And I didn't want him to die. And apparently, a question that I've had for a very long time. That, I mean, I kind of thought that Tenno uh, wouldn't age. That Tenno stopped aging, but... I guess that at least 99% uh, uh, of people will know that, or at least around 50. Another. Don't let it escape. The manifestation is fighting the siphon. See if you can damage it. Scared. You look around and. Mama's not there. Fear is even the most, uh, it's probably the most uh, normal emotion. The emotions are fighting uh, the. I'm tired. You run and run. 
Until you can't run anymore. Blessed Tenno, Rel has returned to his sacred vessel. I will join him there at once. Please, come, for I fear I haven't got the strength to do what must be done next. You want to kill him? And what I also saw, the emotions were attacking, uh, uh, out of energy. The emotions were attacking the thing that was called Rel. He's being attacked by his emotions and I guess that if you're not in tune with, uh, very much in tune with your emotions, if that's, if emotions are difficult, which I can understand, then yeah, that's, that might be how it feels, that you're being attacked by your emotions. Huh. If Rel's been caught in a transference loop for this long, the psychological effects could have been catastrophic. This man in the wall, these delusions, symptoms of the void exposure all Tenno experienced. I hope that Paladino can find peace for Rel, so this never happens again. I don't think she's trying to do that. I think that she thinks that he is now being taken over by this corrupted power thingy. By this evilness, this, I don't know, similarity or whatever it was called. And I think she's going to try and put him down. And, well, I'm not okay with that. We're not going to give up on a Tenno. Any Tenno. Normally I'm all for, if you wrong me, you're going to die, but um, not quite in this case. See you in the next one, where, we're, where we all are. See you in the next one, where we are going to try and save Rel. From the people who saved him before, I guess.